TW of Cole Wayman. Row number three to the inside, the 27 of Clint Holman to the 5S of Bob Zobeck. And Ryan Jenkins will round out your order in that gorgeous number six machine. And I do apologize, you're right, it's three total heat races. Three heat races in your Nebraska Lottery IMCA Modifieds. Of course, we play the game Lucky for Life with Nebraska Lottery. Chance to win $1,000 a day for the rest of your life. Into turn one, side by side. Johnny sat off. A lot's been made of the 96 J. Having ankle issues from an injury a long time ago. Working on hand controls, and it's working tonight. He's going to lead lap number one. Yeah, and I think uh, Jesse Sobic won in that car the opening night of the season. So that car's fast, and he's got the lead here right now. Look at Cole Wayman with a good run to the outside. He'll work in a third. Storm and Norman Ziegenbein holding on to that second spot. But the young gun, Cole Wayman, all over his back bumper. Here comes Bob Zobeck. Bob Zobeck in that 5S, another one of the veterans. Rolling the bottom. Here comes Pella trying to cross him underneath. Meanwhile, Jenkins side by side with Holman. Johnny sat off. Norm Ziegenbein, Cole Wayman. Wayman looks underneath at the line. Norman Ziegenbein's going to hold on to him. But Wayman finishes the move down into turn number one. Cole Wayman, last week's feature winner, up to second. Digging by, back to third, Zobeck fourth, Ryan Jenkins still trying to clear the 3A of Pella, and he'll do so, so he's up two spots. Zobeck now, slide job on, Zigging by, and he'll get it, now we've got a race for the lead. Cole Wayman is there, he's all over the back bumper of Johnny the Jet. Wayman looks underneath, out of turn four, not this time. The Jet holds him off. Johnny, oh, slides up the racetrack, Cole Wayman takes the move. Down the back stretch they go into turn number three. One of the youngsters in the sport going head to head against a four time national champion, and the young guns got it here going into one. Four laps left to go, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, four laps left to go. Cole Wayman, Johnny Sadoff, Bob Zobeck, and Ryan Jenkins, your top four. Yeah, Bob Zobeck and Ryan Jenkins, they've got fast hot rods, and they are closing in on those top two. Zobeck in the 5S, he started sixth. And he is all over the back bumper of the 96J. Zobeck now pulls up to put a little more pressure on Sadoff. Good run on the high side for Zobeck. He's going to close the gap on Sadoff. Two laps left to go for Cole Wayman. Johnny Sadoff, Bob Zobeck, and Ryan Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins is going to pounce. After the mistake from Zobeck, he jumped the cushion. Here comes Jenkins. He has been on the move. Started seventh and looking for third. White flag is out for Cole Wayman. Cole Wayman, Johnny Sadoff, Bob Zobeck, Ryan Jenkins, Clint Holman, Neil Pella, and Storm, uh, Norm Ziegenbein. Off of four, your winner, Cole Wayman wins heat one. Johnny Sadoff, second, Bob Zobeck, Ryan Jenkins, Clint Holman, It'll be Aaron Pella and Norm Ziegenbein to round out your order. How about it? Picking up the heat race with 18W, Cole Wayman. So picked up right where he left off last week with a heat race win. 3, 279, 283, 296, and 303. Woo! Jared Dieterding inside row one with the X-52 of Sean Manning. In row one. Uh, Jeremy Baker and Nate Thompson making up row number two. Jackson sat off Chad Anderson to round out your order. Second of three Nebraska Lottery modified heat races. Out of turn four, green flag is out. Of course, once again, Jackson sat off celebrating a birthday. Boy, that'd be a good birthday present, a win later on tonight. We'll see how he does in the heat race. Sean Manning off to the early race lead. Manning's got the advantage, Nate Thompson, who's already seen the racing surface. He has a little bit of an advantage as he was here in the stock car early tonight. He closes in on your leader. Look at Anderson now coming to the outside. Chad Anderson ripping the lip and the eight C's already up to third. Manning, Thompson, Anderson. Here comes the birthday boy, sat off looking to the inside of Dieter Nick. Meanwhile, race for the lead off of four. Nate Thompson, good run off the corner. He's going to take the race lead with seven to go. Sean Manning back to second. Anderson in third and sat off up into fourth. Final car on the scoreboard. Boy, Nate Thompson, he is looking strong on the top side. 
a pretty healthy cushion has built up up there, and he's using it to his advantage. Meanwhile, Jackson Sadoff snuck his nose underneath Anderson, but Chad just a little bit too strong on the top side. Oh, oh almost some contact right there. Had to lift or even get on the binders to not make contact with Anderson. Sadoff had him set up to make the move out of four, but has to retool and go back at it. Four laps left to go this time by Nate Thompson, Sean Manning, Anderson, uh, Chad Anderson, and Jackson Sadoff. Field starting to string out here just a little bit. Dieterding trying to close back in on Sadoff. Meanwhile, Chad Anderson trying to reel in Sean Manning. Sean looking strong at the bottom. Is, oh, Sadoff jumped the cushion at four. Sadoff now under fire from Jared Dieterding in the Great Clips 13J. Two laps left to go for Nate Thompson, Sean Manning, Chad Anderson, and Jackson Sadoff. Boy, Thompson is absolutely checked out up front. You see the close up on EagleRaceway.tv. White flag is out for the 3T. Down the back straightaway to three and four, one final time. A dominating heat race win for Nate Thompson. Sean Manning second, Chad Anderson third, Jackson Sadoff, Jared Dieterding, and the 3J Jeremy Baker to round out your order. Picking up the win, heading to Demon Decals, winner circle, the 3T, Nate Thompson. Your final row inside, it's going to be the 24T, Terry Hurt. And on his outside, your current points leader and former track champion, Anthony Roth in the 60, the fourth. Ten laps the distance here in your final ground pounder heat race. And we're green off of four. Oh, there we go. That is something we have been missing in my life right now. How about a missed start? First one of the night, Eagle Raceway. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Take a drink. Tell you what, an Eagle Melon would go good with that right there. Green flag out off a of four again. A rough start there. Stopek just not able to get up to speed quick enough. We're going to let this one go, though, unfortunately for our liver. Sean Harker taking the early advantage, but only by a nose. The birthday boys trying to lead lap number one, but it will go to Chad and uh, Dustin Anderson. Yeah, his brother Chad showed him the fast way around earlier, but he got pushed up a little bit there. And now Sean Harker, the birthday boy, resumes the lead. Terry Hurt trying to work his way around Stolpec, not going to get there. As Harker's got company, Dustin Anderson's got that eight wound back up on the cushion. Sean Harker, Dustin Anderson, Terry Hurt, Rodney Stopek, boy, Anthony Roth kind of marred back in traffic, gets around the 4B of Brandon Verbeek. Roth now big run out of turn two, he's, getting the, he's got the four spot. Anthony Roth, always a fast customer when he comes here to Eagle. And here comes Terry Hurt now. Side by side with Sean Harker. Good battle out of turn four for the race lead. Give it to the Hurt. The big Hurt puts it on the point with six laps left to go. Tell you what, Terry Hurt last year had a lot of uh, bad luck throughout the year. Can he kind of get that righted here tonight? Pick up a win. He is set up nicely with the heat race lead right now. Oh, look out, Stopek and Verbeek getting together. Yellow is out. That was a little bit of a coordinated pirouette right there. Yeah. We're going to go green out of turn four. Terry Hurt, Sean Harker, Dustin Anderson, Anthony Roth, Brandon Verbeek, and then Rodney Stopek. Boy, excellent restart there for Terry Hurt. He had about two car lengths before he even got off the corner on Harker. I think Stopek's got a tire rub. Yeah. Yeah, that left rear. 
Anthony Roth peeks his nose underneath Dustin Anderson. Anderson, too much momentum on the cushion. Terry Hurt, Sean Harker, Dustin Anderson, Anthony Roth looking underneath Anderson. Three laps left to go for Hurt, Harker, Anderson, Roth, Verbeek, and Stopek. Hurt has jumped out to about a straightaway lead over Harker. Tell you what, Anderson and Roth are battling, but they're closing in on Harker. We could have a three-car battle here in just a few laps. Anderson under fire from Roth. Doing everything he can to hold off Anthony Roth. Roth's going to have the nose out of two and down the back stretch. Oh, you definitely smell that rubber burning on Stopex 1RS. White flag is out for Terry Hurt. Final time for the 2014. Anthony Roth has got third away from Anderson. Not enough time to put pressure on Sean Harker as Terry Hurt from fifth to the win. Terry Hurt gets the win. Sean Harker brings it home in second. Anthony Roth in third, and Dustin Anderson rounds out your top four. Yeah, Verbeek had a right front flat. He's going to try to take that one to the pit area. Changed the front suspension, and it was money tonight, so it's awesome. It was a fantastic race. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you, guys. Once again, don't pass up on this chance to set yourself up for the life, uh, play lucky for life for the Nebraska Lottery for a chance to win $1,000 for the rest of your life. Top prize odds, one in 30 million on Nebraska Lottery, IMCA modified. Go green off of four. 20 big laps. Johnny sat up, working hand controls. Cole Wayman on the low side, Sean Manning on the outside. Oh, we got a car round, middle of one and two. Brandon Verbeek. Caution is out. Well, there's number six for restart. We're doing it all over again. It's a complete restart. Eagle Raceway. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Take a drink. And just like that, we're at eight. <laughs> Tech, it could be nine, because we, we, yeah. yeah. I think we had two in the heat races. Anderson. All right, try number three. It's like Dustin Anderson not gonna make it back out with a flat tire. Whoa, Sean Manning almost got in the outside guardrail. Johnny set off the lead lap one. Looks like uh, Manning's got some, the rear cover coming off his car. Barely hanging on, we'll keep an eye on that. And they're gonna be four wide, all three wide, definitely down the back stretch. Boy, Chad Anderson threatening the needle there. He is on the move, he is up into the sixth spot. Sean Harker trying to run down Johnny Setup, but the jet has pulled away by about three car lengths. Two laps down, 18 left to go. Now three laps down this time by Johnny Sadoff, Sean Harker, Cole Wayman, Jackson Sadoff, and Bob Zobeck. Keep your eye on Chad Anderson. I'm telling you, he's got that top side wound up in the 8C. Trying to get around Bob Zobeck. Deeper in the field, Anthony Roth and Ryan Jenkins trying to go top shelf as well. Everyone else down to the bottom. Cole Wayman absolutely blistered the field last week. A little bit of damage on the two restarts. Uh, you see on the left side of that car as it'll come around out of turn number two. Uh, I take that back. Maybe not any damage. There is some on the right side though. Jackson set off. He's in fourth, trying to hold off Bob Zobeck. What? What? 
Anthony Roth is working around Chad Anderson right now. That's outside the top five. Debris turn four that fell off the X-52. We've been watching that for a couple of laps. So That's tough gonna, break. Sorry. No, Ryan. you're good. I, I was just going to say that I was going to put Manning to the rear because of that, even though he didn't stop. It's tough to complain about rain because we need it so bad, but uh, yeah, it's frustrating when you have so many weeks in a row of rainouts. Hopefully next Friday's the night. Hopefully this restart is the one that can get us the rest of the way. We're green off of four. The Jet, one of the winningest drivers in modified history, trying to hold off Harker. Look at the run for Cole Wayman. Three car breakaway for the lead, three wide deeper. Look at Jenkins, Roth, and Anderson go at it. Huge run for Cole Wayman off turn number four. He's gonna rip the lip, turns one and two. Off turn number two, can he get the run? He pulls up to the outside of Johnny Sadoff. That battle is on. Wayman ripping that lip one more time out of turn four. Johnny Sadoff, does he know he's there? He will drift up to the top side of one and two. Tries to shut the door, but here comes the crossover move by the 18 W Wayman. Parker right there. Here comes Bob Solbeck. John Harker looking underneath Wayman. Sobek with a big run, looks to the outside of Harker. Sadoff and Wayman both go high. Harker goes low. Man, oh man, putting on a show in the top five here tonight. Wayman gets it wound up on the cushion, but Sadoff too strong on the middle lane of three and four. He'll go back to the top of one and two. That opens up the bottom for Harker. Johnny Sadoff doing a great job changing his line every corner. Wayman can't figure out where he's gonna go. Sean Harker still working underneath. Jackson Sadoff made contact with the front stretch guardrail. He'll continue as he is now back out of the top five. Terry Hurt on the move of 2014. Wayman seems to be losing a little bit of distance on Johnny Sadoff. Parker goes really low into one. Oh, caution it for Jeremy Baker. Spinning oh. it four. I was gonna just say, oh, Jackson Sadoff actually got saved by that caution. He went around in turn two. Oh. I was just gonna say, this one could come down to lap traffic, because I think by the end of this one, if it would have stayed green to checkered, they would have been in lap traffic, but now it should be clear sailing the rest of the way. Jackson Sadoff has pulled to the infield. I think he's done. It's up right there for Jackson. Does anyone right. have anything for the Jet? Be interesting. So far, his car has taken a couple of laps to come in. Green flag is out. Good start for Johnny. Wayman looks underneath. Oh, a little hard into one. Wayman kind of drifted up the track. Wayman's now under fire from Sean Harker. Man, oh man, you've got six, now seven cars doing battle up front. Harker still holding on now to second as Wayman shuffled back to third. Terry Hurt pops over and look at where did Ryan Jenkins come from? Ryan Jenkins getting in front of Anderson up into that sixth spot. Harker's gotten by Wayman now. See if Wayman can get that to 18W back up and rolling. The high side's working, but it's a lot farther to drive. Man, it is so impressive the fact that Johnny Sadoff not using pedals, if I'm correct tonight, using hand controls. And look at the drive he has got right now up front, working the top side of one and two. Wayman falling back to third. Terry Hurt right there in the 2014. Johnny Sadoff, Sean Harker, Cole Wayman, Terry Hurt, and Chad Anderson. So Chad Anderson breaking into the top five. Running out of time are the top four cars trying to catch Sadoff. Two to go for the 96J. Be the second time this year that the 96J has made the winner's circle. 
White flag is out. Eagle Raceway, what do you say? Final time down the back stretch for the 96 at Johnny Sadoff. He's gonna go low and one and two out of turn number four. Get on your feet! The Jet is headed to Demon Decals, victory lane. Parker second, wave at third. Hurt will come home fourth. Anderson will round out your top five. I Damn. think uh, Sean Harker uh, giving his well wishes to Johnny Sadoff. What an amazing job Johnny did tonight. Led every lap. It wasn't easy for him by any means. Had pressure from Cole Wayman, was able to walk away from that. But Sean Harker on his birthday brings it home in second. Cole Wayman has to settle for third. Terry Hurt fourth. And Chad Anderson, your top five.